Long ago in a village there lived a money lender. He was a big miser. He used to lend money but for more interest rate. Oh my god, look who is coming. Early in the morning I bump into him. Want rang gaya? Don't you need money for farming this season? You haven't thrown a wink at me. Tell me what happened? No, I didn't need it this time. You know that my son works in the town. He sends me money all the time. So, it's okay now. That's good. So you don't need me now. And why would you come to me now? Right? My entire savings go only into repaying his exorbitant interest rates. Wonder when the village will get rid of him. Oh, Venkatesh. When are you paying me? I am yet to receive even the interest of it. I will do it, sir. Once the harvest is done, I will definitely do it for you. Please allow me, sir. Okay. The more you delay, the more the compound interest it will be. Understand? Shastri, Shastri, give me the day's accounts. I want to know about it. As you say, sir. Doctor, my son has been running high temperature since morning. I gave him the medicine that you prescribed last time, but the temperature is still high. I am very worried. Please check. The temperature is high, around one zero four degrees. Please take him to the town and consult the senior doctor. Meanwhile, I'll give him a temporary dose so you can show. What is the cost, doctor? It will cost five hundred rupees. Make it fast, please. Oh my God. That's a huge amount. Where will we arrange that money? I am clueless. I only have hundred rupees with me. Is it? Oh, then let us borrow the money from Singaya. Oh no, Singaya! He will take half back the amount as interest. Let's not think about it now. It's important to take the child to the hospitals. Let us go to Singaya now. <laughs> Ramaya, what brings you here, sir? My child is unwell. Our village doctor has suggested that we take him to the town. This will cost us five hundred rupees. Can you help us with this money? <laughs> what help? I'll lend you on interest, but you have to repay me within a month. Sure, sir. Give me five hundred rupees. Shastri, Shastri, take the thumbprint and give him five hundred rupees now. Do it, Ramya. Take this five hundred rupees, sir. There is only four hundred rupees. <laughs> of course, four hundred only. Who will pay the interest? Your father. Twenty rupees as interest. That is my charge. Take it if you want, or else live. Dear, you have been torturing the villagers with very high interest rates. We are just two of us. We don't have children. Also, all this money. What are you going to do with it? Why are you so greedy? Money is everything. It can get us the moon. Don't you know? The respect we command is because of the money. No money, and you are nothing. You got it? This is how I am. Hmm. I know how much respect you command from people. Bhagam, Bhagam, where is my coffee? How long do I wait? Heavens won't fall without coffee. The milkman hasn't turned up yet today. Have your coffee outside if you really want it. <laughs> Shastri is missing at the moment. Can't help. Fine, let's go. Subhama. Give me some milk. What brings you here, sir? Your milkman hasn't come, or what? He must have been drunk last night. Give me, give me some milk. Here is your milk. What? Only two rupees. This costs five rupees. What? Two rupees? You are charging other two rupees and me five rupees? I have learned this from you, sir. 
Don't you charge twenty rupees as interest for a hundred rupee loan? It's the same. Okay, have this. I can't start the day without coffee, so this is for you. Days pass by. One day, Singaya and Shastri are traveling together to the town. During the travel, sir, my legs are aching badly thanks to this tough trek. Let me get into the cart. Oh, Shastri, keep walking because walking is good for health. Just tell me, you don't want me to get in. As the cart was moving forward, it was stuck by a big rock, and Singaya falls down. Uh, 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 oh God! Looks like my leg is broken, Shastri. I'm not able to get up. Oh, it looks like a serious injury. Let us go to the clinic. Hospital for a pity injury? No way. Just lift me. Ah! Uh, oh my God! This pain. Ah! Uh, this blood is too much. Spare me, God. The pain is getting worse. That is why I have suggested we go to the hospital. Please listen. Come, let's go. Wonder if I had faced an ominous thing this morning. He's a bad omen for himself. Both of them reach the hospital in a hurry. Doctor, doctor, my master fell down from a cart. His leg seems slightly hurt. Please take it. You think it is minor? It is worse. He needs dressing. It will cost fifty rupees. Oh my God, fifty rupees. I will pay five rupees for basic dressing. I am sure it will be okay soon. Please. Okay, pay me five rupees. The doctor accepts the five rupee note from Singaya and wraps Singaya's wound with the same five rupee note. Doctor, have you gone mad? You are dressing the wound with a five rupee note. Are you crazy? You are sure this could be cured with just five rupees? So I am doing this. You will be fine by tomorrow. Don't worry. Got it. You won't do the right job unless I pay you fifty rupees. I swear, it's a villager's money. It is just pittance for you. Mm, you will get it. You have to first treat me. Stop believing that money can buy everything. There are a lot many that money cannot buy. So you should go with what is in reality. We can't buy everything with money, except good and bad. What Shastri? Do you get a sense? Yes. He says money cannot buy everything, and money is not everything. Is what he is saying. Funny. Throw money. The world is at your feet. If you throw it in front of everyone, the money will come to us anyway. The time is not yet ripe for you to realize. As they reach home, are you? What happened, dear? What is this bandage? Did you have a fall? Uh, nothing serious. Just a small injury. So small that it has cost him fifty rupees. No wonder. I asked you to stay away from the dishonest earnings, but you never listened to me. Sir, you please take rest. Shastri, tell me what actually happened. Shastri narrates the whole incident to Bhagyam. Bhagyam is disappointed. Oh, the entire village is vengefully waiting to draw his blood. Yes, yes, madam. True. People are now abusive against his greed. They are against him. Please forgive me if I have to something. All right, Shastri ji, we'll do as you said. What else I need if he learns his lesson from this? Bhagyam, where is my coffee? What happened? What is this? Why is it not opening? Bhagyam, open the door. I'm waiting for it to get it open. Bhagyam. The doctor has advised you to take rest. Please don't come out. I will attend to all your needs. I'm here for you. Fine, then get me a coffee before. Bhagyam fills the coffee mug with lot of money and passes it on to Singaya through the window. What? Why do I see money instead of coffee? Have you gone mad? Why are you doing this? What's wrong with it? You yourself said that money can get you anything you want. That's why I'm giving you the same money. For the entire day. Bhagyam keeps serving only money to Singaya instead of food. Of course, he gets water during lunch and also dinner. Bhagyam only serves money in the place of food. Singaya is disgusted. Bhagyam, I don't need money, Bhagyam. Please give me something to eat. Hunger burns my tummy so much, Bhagyam. Please understand. Hope you realize now that money does not buy everything. 
द मनी दट यू सक्ड आउट ऑफ पुअर विलेजेस कुड नॉट गेट यू एटलीस्ट वन स्क्वेर मील फॉर वन डे एटलीस्ट यू आर वेरी राइट भाग्य आई एम अशीम हेयर आफ्टर आई वोट हरास पीपल विद हाई इंटरेस्ट रेट आई एम श्योर अबाउट इट फ्रॉम दैट डे ऑन सिंगया इज ए ट्रांसफॉर्म मैन ही हेल्प पीपल विनिंग देयर हार्ट एंड लीडिंग अ हैप्पी लाइफ